In this video, I will show you how to set up CAN for your O drives. By the end, you will be able to control your motor using a Python script or a ROS node. If you're new here, make sure to check out the links in my video description and subscribe for more robotics and AI. So first thing we want to do is make sure we have everything connected properly. So here we have a Windows PC. This is just for the GUI part. And we have a USB cable to the USB isolator. And we have a USB-A to USB-C cable connected to our micro. And here on the bottom, we have the motor connected to the bottom pins. And we have a power supply going to the plus and minus. So here in the GUI, we have the setup for CAN. So what you want to do is make sure that these items here are checked so that we can actually communicate with our devices. Then here we want to make sure we have our motors tuned properly, otherwise it'll go crazy. And here these are some of the data that you need to pull out for the configurations which we'll use later on. And you can find this part under the apply and calibration step, so you go ahead and copy and paste that to a file. So I went over these steps pretty quickly, but if you want a more in-depth summary of those steps, I have a video here on calibration and control, go ahead and check out this video. So these next few steps require different connections. So now we're using a Linux PC here. We also have a USB isolator, but now we're adding the USB to CAN device here and we have a cable that goes to J2. So now we're gonna go ahead and enable our CAN. So we're running these commands in our Linux PC. So we have a sudo apt update, sudo apt install CAN utils, and to enable your CAN device, run this command here. And you could verify it by running this bottom command. So now you can assign your CAN ID. If you didn't do so already in the GUI or if you have multiple devices, you could use this method to assign your ID. So under the O drive resources, go to examples. This is gonna be the file can enumerate.py. Go ahead and get this file. You might as well get all the other files too because we'll be using those later on. But what you can see here, what you do is run the install command and you could hit this command here for the run. And then this bottom one is if you have more than one motors, so you could change some of the input arguments to your command. Okay, so now we're gonna set up our configuration file. So remember these things that we got from our GUI. So if you had them copied, go ahead and put them in a file, but you wanna convert it so that it's in JSON format. We're gonna call this file config.json. Notice that some of these things have to be modified because you have enums here. And we know this because if you go inside the O drive API, you're gonna see these are the definitions for some of the things. So for example, motor type, you might see gimbal. So instead of writing the word gimbal, you wanna put the number two. So you do the same thing for all the other things. So we have things like position control, which will be a three. We have different things like the input mode. You can see these are different enum values. Here we have position filter and so on. We also have the encoder type. So for me specifically, I'm using the onboard encoder which will be 13. So once you convert all of the enums into numbers you should be ready to go. Okay so now we have another file we have to prepare. This is a flat endpoints.json file. Go ahead and find the O drive that you're using. Here we're using the O drive micro x4 so I'm going to download that and save it. So now we're going to go ahead and apply the configurations. We're going to use the file can restore config.py and you want to make sure you also have the can simple utils file in the same directory. So now we could just go ahead and run this command and apply our configurations. You should now be able to calibrate your motor using can, so you can use the script can calibrate.py. Once you get that file, go ahead and run this command here and you should be able to calibrate it. A quick way to verify your CAN communication is to run these steps here and you should see this output. So to control your motor using a Python script, you can follow the CAN simple.py file. The main thing with this file is that it assumes you have all the configurations set up and you're doing velocity control, but in practice, you may want to do something else. So you may want the flexibility to modify that inside your Py file. So to understand what to send and how to send it, we want to look at the CAN protocol. So a CAN message has a node ID and a command ID. So you want to make sure you know the exact address to write your commands to. So the first thing you want to do is do the set access state. This is right here defined in the documentation. Here you can see we have different enums for the access state. The one we're interested in is going to be the closed loop control, which is going to be the eight. So now you'd have that, make sure you write it to the right node ID here, and you should have that part ready to go. The next part is to set the controller mode. So here you can see we have different modes. We have voltage control, torque control, velocity control, and position control. And we also want to set our input mode, which is things like inactive, pass through, velocity ramp, and so on. So here you can see in my code, I have the node ID and the actual control mode and input mode that I'm passing in. So depending on what inputs you're writing, you have to input position, velocity, and torque. For the input velocity, we have to input velocity and input torque feed forward term. So here you can see inside my code, I have the node ID set to correct one and my velocity and torque feed forward set. 
So to summarize, these are the three main things we have to set and the address associated with them. Now, if I go ahead and run it, I have one mode where I'm running it in velocity mode and another mode in position mode. Now to run it in ROS, it just requires a few steps we talked about earlier. If you're new to ROS, you could check out some of the videos I have on my channel and I have another one that's a condensed course, but you could go ahead and come to the ROS O drive here and download their package. And you just wanna run these commands here and then you should be ready to go. So here again, you can see our motor running in velocity mode as expected. So if you found this video helpful, give a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.